Today is Wednesday, May the 1st, 2024. And I wanted to provide a adoption update for Chile. Um, I had to send emails or an email and several voicemail messages, but I did finally get a call back this morning. Um, and Officer Miller, who was um, trying to be very helpful in his voicemail, said himself that they, if I call the animal care center, which is where Chile is being kept right now, they may not answer the phone. And so, you know, even he is aware that their customer service practices are not reliable, which bothered me because um, if they are even closed for um, a period of time during the day, during the business day, then there should be someone available to answer the phone about uh, animals that are being um, stray held because uh, people miss their companion animals and you know they can panic as I have um, when they don't know what's going on or what's happening with their companion so um, that's true of any person animal we love plant we love right so um, I was able to talk with Leanne who called me back and I was grateful because I could only leave a message. It's not even an option to talk to a person when you call the number. You just have to leave a message and hope somebody will call you back. And being Wednesday um, and Wednesday being noted on their voicemail as an adoption viewing day, um, of course caused me, I was about to panic. I'm like, what if they are having someone view her today? But anyway, Leanne was able to call me back, which helped to allay my concern about the fact that there was no one available to take my call. Um, but she did call back and, um, you know, and provided information about Chile based on her, her um, spay, not spay, stray number on their animal website. Um, I wanted to show you first, though, that when I went to go look for Chile on the website as advised by the um, voicemail message uh, or at the care center that there was a dog there's a dog there that's up for adoption that looks like she could be Chile's mom and the other thing that I noted is that there are a lot of pit bull or mixed terriers pit bull mix terriers on that website which says a lot about the city of Norfolk and what's going on in this city but I found my baby girl and um, when I talked to Leanne she pulled her up and she actually had noted that her name was Chili even though they haven't put a name here which you know kind of gave me some comfort so we are going to go and see what we can do about um, foster and adopting her um, I, my aunt Carolyn who is my GI Jane um, person you know is also a adamant uh animal activist and pet lover and so she you know has agreed to help me figure this out so um i'm gonna sh uh, also show you um a uh, the page from my animal breeder and handler journal entry just to remind you about terriers in that particular group and then the whole breeding process in general which really needs to stop um, there is no reason to breed animals if you are living in a healthy natural environment where animals are respected there is everything you need has been made available by nature and you do not have to domesticate anything people will live and dwell where they feel safe and comfortable
for people who are still learning how to be a friend, which would also allow them to learn how to be a good neighbor, how to be part of a real family, a community family. Having a companion animal is a good place to start. There are lots of animals who have been bred and who have been strayed that need loving homes because they are living as if they are in the wild, but they do not have those skills. I've always said that I believe that people who are good pet owners, meaning they really take care of them, they spend time with them, they talk about their personalities, they have pictures of their pets that they will share with you, will be good parents because it's similar in the kinds of skills you need in understanding the needs of someone other than yourself. Breeding has to stop and I really want you to consider why people breed animals in the first place. So if you are interested in having a companion, learn how to be a friend with the animals and that will prepare you to find your person and to appreciate the process of getting to know them.